Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. Now to do Now since season four of the Loud House is pretty much done, we're gonna do my top ten best and my top ten favorite episodes of season four of the Loud House. So without further ado, let's get started. Kicking off our top ten our top ten is a Star is Scorn. This is a really good episode. I like the, the team up between Lola and Lily. They're they're really great in terms of a team up. But sure, the, the main plot is sort of, sort of simple, but other than that, I really had a great time with this one. Number 9 is Snoop's On. This is a really decent uh, Luna and really good uh, Luann, Lincoln, and Lenny episode. It's a, a pair of sub characters we've never seen before, and, and it's like I like Luna's plan throughout the entire episode. It kind of makes sense that, 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 that she wouldn't be skipping school or... I'm watching, like, say, going to clubs with this weird girl, Roxy. And it's all, like, say, reveal with this whole thing. Kind of makes sense. Of course. And, yeah, sure, it's predictable, but, yeah, it makes sense. Coming number eight is... Lucky number eight, I gotta give it to Lovebirds. This is a really good uh, pets episode since since our, uh, like, say, very first pets episodes, which was in season two of The Loud House. They finally did an episode that is a lot better than the other one. I kind of like say root for Walt and uh, try to find a love interest. The whole like say joke with Mr. Growls is hilarious. And I find it kind of weird that the siblings' faces are never being like saying shown. Unlike the first one, first pet episode, their faces were shown. But this one, yeah, they, they kind of like say disappear. And it's not really a big issue, but yeah, it's something I know that. I know that. I know it's not. Coming number seven, it... Lucky number seven, I gotta give it, gotta give it to Sister Act. Yeah, the Sister Act. Uh, sure, a lot of people don't like this. A lot of people consider this one underrated, but for me, I kind of like this one. Sure, uh, sure, it's kind of similar to Cover Girls, which I thought that was episode was overrated, but this one, for much like, si sure, it's not as good as that one, but still good regardless. I like Lone Lone Lana pretty much like see swapping places, getting kind of. I like him like see the whole part with Coach Bakowski's school in this episode, and like, and sure, I didn't like the plot line with the twin, with the uh, Lola ha having to go to the dock, having like say, having like say the sniffles and Lana being having an aching tooth. Yeah, that that plot line didn't work for me. Otherwise, I really enjoyed this one, enjoyed this episode. Coming no. The top five is is sand hassles. Yeah, sand hassles is on my top five. Now, originally, I'm not, this wasn't going to be in the list, but after we, after I'm not like say I'm not finding out that uh, I like this episode more than I actually did originally. Yeah, it deserves to be on the list. I like Lucy and and the Morticians Club trying to s stop this whole like field trip. You kind of root for them. They have reasons at least, unlike other episodes. And yeah, we. And yeah, we, yeah, Miss Principal Huggins uh, about this whole like say, about this whole hair, about this whole wig thing was hilarious. Overall, this is a great episode. Starting off with number four, is a, it's a dark and story night. This is a really great uh, episode. Sure, it's kind of similar to Homespun and Left in the Dark, but it's a good kind of ripoff. Uh, sure, it's simple. Yes, you can root for the characters. I like, I like the loud sprint telling the stories about. About this whole thing. I mean, yes, it's simple. It's fun. Just just, just get attached to the story. Alright, starting off our top three is... How Double Dare You. Yeah, this is... Yes, this is a really good episode. Um, Originally, I thought that, that Snoop Swan would be better, would be, is better than this. But after finally watching this one, it's a lot better than I used to think it is. I like the whole, like, say, beginning where Lisa... Pretty much like say tests on everyone and who would be a, who'd be like say a be best on like say the double dare like say competition would it be Lincoln and Lenny would it be Lo Lori and Luann would it be Luna and Le and and Lynn would it be Lucy Lucy and Lola would it, would it be Lana or Lily or or whatever but yeah all the way it turns out it's Lincoln and Lenny and yeah I like I like the fact that they both win and and sure Lisa's kind of a jerk. But uh, but yeah, she deserves that she's she's not winning, and 
And at least I like I like say the whole Lexi part where Lincoln and Lenny pretty much like, give the award to Lisa, even though she was kind of a cocky jerk. And I like the part I, I like the reference to Nickelodeon with the whole slime thing, which is actually a really good reference. Overall, really great episode. Coming number two is Tales of Woe. This is my favorite Halloween episode of the whole show. Originally, I thought this was my number one, um, but there's a one episode that, for me, I thought was a little bit better than this. Still, regardless, I really love this episode. And in first place is... Coop Dreams. Yes, Coop Dreams is my number one episode for the season. It has a really great plot involving Lori, pretty much. Like, say... Like, say, in order to, like, say, get her dream car is to... Is to become like a driver for everyone in town. And I like this whole like say shenanigans where, where she's pretty much like say driving out flips, scoots, and the Mortis the Morticians Club, Lynn, the Fox Quintuplets. Yeah, there's a lot of great references to this one. Uh the fact uh there's some really great cameos. The Morticians Club Flip, I can't a reference to Game Off in my opinion, a reference to House Flip, uh the Fox and Tuplets return from Breaking Dad and Sitting Bull. And there's a little weird thing. Uh, remember in Sending Bowl where Lynn pretty much managed just to babysit them? And here she's attacked by them. Yeah, kind of a strange, like, say, thing that they actually did to this episode. And this episode ends on a really good note. I like the music for the ending of the episode. So is this, the title card for this episode. Also, the title card is really good. Yeah, there's a lot of great title cards in, in the season. And if you're wondering, why didn't Game Off or Don't You Forget About Me hit the list? Well, they're both really good episodes. I've kind of found these top 10 episodes would be a lot better than this and those episodes so yeah season four officially ends uh the officially ends uh the, the season where we're about to see the characters in their original ages so yeah i'm ready for season five bring it on so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye